What is going on guys, Skits here bringing you another World of Warcraft gold guide for Legion but more specifically I'm bringing you a guide on the how to properly prospect your Laystone ore in your Fell Slate. So I know that sounds weird but at least at the end of this video you're going to understand how to do it in the most effective way and what I mean by that is the mass prospect for both the Laystone and the Fell Slate to me and to a lot of other people in my opinion right now is no good so as this method and as prospecting in Legion progresses I'm gonna put a lot of other videos out but for right now guys single prospecting is the way to go so before we get started I'm gonna need you to take your auto loot off and I'm gonna explain why uh, once we uh, get the ball rolling so I'm gonna quickly just do this video really really fast and just uh, short and simple as usual, um, but let's just jump into it right now. We're going to prospect some laystone ore, and I'm going to commentate over it and show you guys what's going on. So this is just five ore at a time and five fell slate at a time. So let's start with the laystone ore. It's giving us, and most of you guys probably haven't noticed this, the color of the gem chip is going to be what color the next... So whether it's going to be a shadow ruby, which is purple, or it's going to be the queen's opal, which is like the lesser cool version of uh, the shadow ruby, like the lesser valued gem, if that makes sense. So let's click on that. And if you had auto loot on, it would have just took that and you never would have saw it. And you would have just been blindly prospecting, not knowing what's coming. So uh, with that being said, let's just do this again. Let's do this raw, I said. So let's just go through it so you guys can understand what's going on. Again, purple's coming next. So whether it's going to be a Shadow Ruby or Queen's Opal, there you go, a Queen's Opal. And this gem chip with this is telling you that this just reset. So whatever's coming next could be purple, but it could not be, uh, you know, it could be any other color gem. So the gem chip by itself will tell you what's coming next. But if you get a gem with a gem chip, it kind of resets it. Hope that makes sense. So why is this important? Because if you get a gem chip, let's keep doing this and I'll keep talking. If you get a gem chip, for instance, like this, a, a orange, and you're like, oh my gosh, I know that the really expensive orange gem, the Eye of the Prophecy, let's find it here real quick for you guys. The Eye of the Prophecy, right, goes for like 6K gold. So I know if I, if I now prospect the Fell Slate, which yields more gems, whether it's the Deep Ambers, which is like the, the lesser cool version again of the Eye of the Prophecy, but we know now that an orange gem is coming next. So let's, let's prospect some Fell Slate, hoping to get an Eye of the Prophecy or say orange is still coming next. So let's just hit the Fell Slate again, maybe some Eye of the Prophecy. No, too deep amber, which still sell, you know, for decent gold. But you guys get kind of, uh, kind of the way this works, how prospecting works. So you're not just blindly prospecting 20 ore, 20 fell slate at a time. Because I know, a, if I'm buying ore up for, you know, fell slate was like 70 gold per ore plus, or if I'm farming it or buying it, or if I'm paying upwards of 20 gold or 30 gold. Uh, plus for laystone ore, I'm gonna milk it while I'm prospecting it. I promise you that. So, I hope this video helps. I hope this makes sense. This is important because, um, for instance, if you guys know that a green gem is coming next, if you get a, a solo green uh, gem chip and you're like, oh my gosh, the uh, pandemonite, I hope I'm saying that right, is coming next, I would be prospecting the crap out of the fell slate just on the chance that I get a couple procced pandemonites, if that makes sense. So if you have any questions, I know this is kind of confusing, but I know a lot of people had no idea what the gem chips actually meant. Um, so like I said, if this video helped, give it a thumbs up, comment if you need help. I'm here as always, um, and I'll see you on the next video. Love y'all. Take it easy. Peace.